10 tips to get more views on TikTok. Do you have a minute? 15 seconds? That's about all the time you have to catch the attention of your viewer and make them a follower. You can have the best information to share, but if you can't catch their immediate attention, then they're on to the next. This is Scott Leffler from Internet Made Simple. In today's video, we'll be going through 10 simple tips to grow your views and following on TikTok. I'll be sharing with you the secrets to hooks, hashtags, and engagement that will flood people to your page. But before we do that, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our future videos. Number 1. Know What's Trending The first thing you need to know is that TikTok is a numbers game. The analytics distribute your videos based on the levels of engagement you're creating. Getting your videos noticed isn't as hard as you think when you learn how to use all the features that are already built into the app. Some videos take quite a bit of time to add it into the allotted time given. So, before you get your creative juices flowing, you want to check out the Discover tab that's floating at the bottom of your screen. Even if you have an idea in your mind, this is going to help you notice which hashtags are receiving views and what songs are available. This might seem like a lot of work, but when you're an account with no followers, this is a simple TikTok hack that's going to be fruitful. We'll dive into hashtags a little bit more here in a second, but you may want to make note of the ones you think might be applicable to the content you're wanting to create. Number 2. Focus on getting high watch time This one's a bit tricky. Remember how I said TikTok was a numbers game? Some of those numbers are seconds of engagement. The average attention span of an adult is about 8 seconds. It's almost like speed dating in a way. You have 8 seconds to catch their eye and make them want to watch to the end of your video. So if the first 4 seconds of your video are spent trying to find the right angle or a long rambling introduction without ever getting to the point, then your audience will likely move on. The best way to keep track of just how much face time you're getting from your followers is to go over to your profile page. Click on one of your previous videos and tap on the three dots that appear above the sound icon in the bottom right corner. Here you're going to find an option to view the analytics for this particular video. You'll be able to notice the length of your actual video, how much total playtime you received, and the average watch time for this video. By reviewing these metrics, you're going to be able to gauge what kind of parameters you're going to want to stay in on future videos. Number 3. Make sure your content is appropriate for the app and follows community guidelines. It's almost guaranteed that any successful content creator on the app has had a video removed for violation of community guidelines at one point. While it's not always clear what the violation is, the filters or moderators are typically pretty quick to remove any content that's deemed to be in violation. Keeping this in mind, the standards are pretty simple. You want to create content that will appeal to your audience without being overly offensive, sexually suggestive, or contain any kind of hate speech. Outside of that, you should be good. Number 4. Hook them in with curiosity or suspense I touched on this earlier, but when you're starting your video, you want to remember you have about 8 seconds to catch their attention. Don't start with phrases like, hey guys, I just thought I'd share, or I just thought I'd pop on here. These phrases read as afterthoughts, and they don't catch their eye. If you want to talk about the top three things that you hate about dating, then just say that. Here are the top three things that I hate about online dating. This is short and to the point. Another trick that you can try is breaking up the content into multiple parts. You'll still want to make sure you're to the point with the story, but you'll pique their interest and create more engagement if they have to explore your other videos to get the whole story. Number 5. Incentivize them by telling them to like and share This one's a bit controversial with many creators on the app. One would think that the law of averages would have to come into play somewhere. By viewers liking and sharing your posts, there's potential that your video will have more engagement. However, recent changes to the algorithm have created rumors that the likes on your videos have little effect on your videos hitting the For You page. In case you aren't aware, the For You page is where you get distributed to the masses. People outside of your following will potentially be able to view your new content. Nobody's really completely cracked the code on this, but there seems to be a good idea. If your content performs well amongst your following audience, then TikTok will begin distributing it out to larger groups that might fit certain demographics, or fit within the hashtags that you associated with that video. 
Number six, using hashtags. Get your notebook back out. I talked about jotting down a few trending applicable hashtags earlier, and this is where they come into play. When you get ready to publish your video, you'll get the option to create a small description, tag other creators, and apply hashtags. When you apply the hashtag, the algorithm is potentially grouping you with other videos wearing that same tag. However, the general rule of thumb is to use no more than three or four. Otherwise, you'll actually dilute your audience. Think of it like a Venn diagram. You don't want too many things overlapping. Number seven, use duets. Be brave. You might feel slightly intimidated here, but there really is no need. The duet feature is going to allow you to expand upon the content that someone else has already created. This can be accomplished so many ways. You can use the original sound, you can pair the sound, you can appear to be interacting with them, etc. There are so many ways the duet feature is used to engage with other creators. Similarly to the duet, TikTok has also come up with the stitch feature. This is another form of engagement that allows you to use a snip of a previous video posted and stitch together with a new video of your own. Both features are going to create another level of engagement as it allows you to potentially appear to your followers as well as the followers of the creator that you've paired with. Number eight, interact and collaborate with others. Engaging with the community can also be accomplished outside of duets and stitches. Liking, commenting, and sharing the videos of the people that you follow as well will also gain you some attention. A fellow viewer might just get a kick out of what you have to say and want to check out your content too. Thus, this will add additional views to your page. You can also align yourself with other creators that you've become creators with to collaborate on new content. If they have similar content and in your area, you might be able to encourage them to create something together. This will allow you both to post the video and share your audiences. Number nine, pick the right time and post more regularly. This is probably just as crucial as trends and hashtags. Could you imagine wanting to try out a restaurant that doesn't have their hours of operation posted anywhere? Think of how frustrating it would be if you saw the open sign when you were driving by and not hungry, but they were closed when you made plans to go. This cycle continues until you just give up. This is why posting consistently is important if you want your engagement to rise. When it comes to picking the right time, you're probably overthinking it. Can you have an intriguing conversation when someone's asleep? Are you going to have their undivided attention when they're at work? You probably aren't. Think about when people have time to be on their phones. They might have a few moments in the morning or at lunch, but they might have after work or before bed. This is when you're going to want to focus your efforts on publishing your videos. Number 10. Make content similar to your best performing content. There's a reason that everyone watches the trends. What worked for you four months ago might not generate the same results today, but watch what's working and duplicate it. Maybe you need to tweak something. Maybe you make a video a bit shorter, or you need to add text for dramatic effect. Either way, it's all a game of trial and error. Mimicking accounts with high traction should help you produce greater results. If you start implementing these tips into your content creation, you will significantly increase your chances of generating views and followers. If you found this information helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more tips and tricks in future videos.